हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज पी के मोबाइल लेआउट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर बीआई फॉर एनी पावर बीआई पेज वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस कंपैरेटिव एनालिसिस डैशबोर्ड आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड द वीडियो ऑन दिस हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस ब्यूटीफुल डैशबोर्ड यू कैन वॉच द कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ दिस डैशबोर्ड वी हैव गिवन द लिंक इन वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू अ मोबाइल ले आउट सो दैट इफ यू ओपन दिस पावर बी आई रिपोर्ट इन मोबाइल दिस विल अपियर लाइक दिस okay now i will show you step by step how you can create this in microsoft power bi this is our existing comparative analysis dashboard in microsoft power bi now we will show you from the scratch how you can convert this dashboard page into the mobile layout i am using the microsoft power bi september 2023 update you can see here this is the latest version as of now we can see here one mobile layout view option or this is the desktop layout view so currently this view is the desktop layout view create a mobile layout from here you can just click here or you can go to the view mobile layout this one let's click here here we can see all the visual available on the page so you can use whatever visual you want to show on the mobile layout or you can keep only important visual which you want to show in the mobile layout okay here we will start creating our visualization we can show this slicer here so let's pick this slicer from the page visual and drag to the mobile canvas okay so here you can see this is the year slicer you can make it smaller and let's keep this here all right now we will move this card for the cy sales current year sales and let's keep this here now you can see the font is pretty much bigger because it is according to the desktop view now we will format this according to the mobile view and that formatting will be only for the mobile view not for the desktop view okay now let me go to the visualization just select this card and go to the visualizations and here you can see this call out value option and the font size is 45 let's take here 15 only and then call out label it is 12 let's take here 8 now it is smaller you can see okay we can give this outline and background color for this slicer also so select this slicer and then go to the size and style and scroll it and just go to the background just on the background default background is white so let's keep the white background then visual border just on this and here you can take the same blue color so let's say i'm taking this color rounded corners take 5 point okay now we will move here the other card also so let's take the py cell and let's keep this here make it bigger and just keep this here then budgeted sales keep this here and now we will take the budget variance this one and then we will take the buy or buy sales growth we will format these visuals select these all visual and then go to the call out and let's take here 15 call out level let's take 8 background image which we have taken for desktop view uh, that will not appear here even if we will go to the desktop view that will not appear here also so we have to add it once again so let's go to the canvas so right click and go to the format canvas and here we can add this bg1 which is not appearing because it is taking this white background so you can take this gray background also and in the mobile layout it will appear the gray background like you can see here okay and here in the desktop one you can add the picture once again so you can go to the canvas background and you can remove the bg1 and let's take the bg1 once again so let's add this and use here fit so that is appearing here so this logo and header is the part of the picture okay that is not appearing here any visual which is not available in the desktop view how you can show it in the mobile layout view i will tell you so what i will do i'll go to the insert and then i will insert a text box okay and here i will use this as so i have put it as comparative analysis dashboard okay and i have created this 
visual here so let's make it slightly smaller and i'll select it and go to the format and i'll send it to the back so it will go to the back of this particular card so it will not appear here but that is the part of this page now okay if i will go to the mobile layout view then it will appear here you can see this text box now i can move this here okay and i can make it bigger and let's keep this here and i can align this center okay now we will format this so let's make this bold and slightly bigger let's take 14 you can change the font color let's say white this one the background color you can change of this text box go to the size and style and let's go to the background and take some different background let's say you can take this blue one or you can take this one so i'm taking this one all right you can move your slicer and card slightly bottom side like this now quickly we will add the charts also so let's say i'm adding this chart make this slightly bigger okay so now the title is not visible properly you can see so what we can do we can change the title font size so go to the title here in the visualization and take the font size around 9 okay you can change the size of this cy sales and yu by sales growth also so you can go to the x axis and for the value also let's take 8 and for the title also let's take around 8 or 9 and same for the by axis value 8 and for title let's take around 8 okay so now it is more readable and you can add the other charts also so quickly i'm adding the chart so let's say i'm adding this one now So now we will quickly format the visual which we have added from here. So this one, let's change the title font size, take around nine quickly and here also. You can change the data level as well as the legion size also here. So go to the legion, take here eight and the data levels also. So detailed levels, let's take value size as eight all right now for this chart title font 9 then here we will change the size of x axis and y axis values also so for x axis take 8 and for y axis value take 8 and we will go to the line also and we will take the stroke width only one point similarly for this table view also we will select the table and we will change the title and let's take 9 and you can change the value totals as well as the column headers and row headers size also so let's go to the value and it is 10 let's take 8 here column headers take 8 row header 8 and then the column subtotal also let's take values 8 similarly for row subtotal let's take values 8 our table is looking like this all right so we have created quick mobile layout here and now we will publish our dashboard so let's save this desktop view and let's publish this so go to the home and publish i will publish it in my workspace select see this dashboard so i'll click on this so it is being opened in my laptop as of now so now i'll show you the laptop view first of all then i will show you the mobile view also this is the desktop layout put it in the full screen mode here you can see this is the desktop layout so i'll quickly show you the mobile layout also all right friends so that is how we can create the mobile layout in microsoft power bi for any page you can use this in your daily report or dashboard so that when the senior leadership team will open it in their mobile and you can show the only important and critical information 
you don't need to show all the visuals you can select only few important visuals friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching